Hello folks, I just thought I'd showcase another way you can improve the range of your uh, 5.8 GHz transmitter or um, any transmitter for that matter that uses an omnidirectional antenna and that is to use uh, an aluminum foil reflector like what I made over here. I also made one for my Wi-Fi, my long antennas here, which I will show you in a separate video. But here's the one I made for my transmitter out of a um, frozen dinner box. Uh, this is a single sheet of aluminum foil and I used some double-sided tape to hold it on there. And I cut an X on the bottom so that way I could slide it through my antenna like this. So uh, that's how it looks with it on. And I gotta tell you, um, <clears throat> these antennas work really, really well. Um, I haven't tested it to its limits yet, as my only range problem has been in altitude versus distance, and I haven't wanted to go too nuts with the altitude. But um, I can say that this gives at least a 20 to 30 percent increase in range thus far. It may well give you close to double the gain of the antenna in its stock form. Uh, so it's really made a, a good difference. Before I could get more FPV range going straight up than I did with controller range. I didn't have issue with distance though, but going straight up my controller would lose connection before my FPV. But now, uh, it stays solid throughout my entire session. So if I'm flying straight up, of course I'll be holding my controller like that. And I'll have one of these down with a reflector on this as well to give additional distance for one of the antennas. So, uh, <clears throat> I initially saw this idea of adding an aluminum reflector in an episode of uh, the Screensavers um, years back. And uh, I think they called it the Windsurfer antenna. But you can find uh, some videos showing that original uh, concept. This is my own design, though. My own version. Um, you might even get better results <clears throat> if you use a, a glue instead of double tack tape. The only reason why I think it might give you slightly better results is you'll have a slightly smoother surface rather than these slight ridges. So I guess the smoother and more reflective the surface the better. Um, you'll want to apply the more reflective side of the aluminum foil straight up. Um, if for any reason you have trouble applying it smoothly, you can use any sort of smooth like surface, like a squeegee, and just run it over the aluminum foil. It smooths it out uh, quite nicely. So anyway, there you have it. Very happy with the results that this reflector gave me. Uh, if I were to make uh, another one of these, I would maybe have uh, it fold over, maybe on one side rather than it just being a straight cutout here with the tape, so that way I'd have some folds, or maybe uh, do a slot in here so I could kind of insert it in, kind of like a notch, or maybe something on top. <coughs> but this works pretty well. I basically did the same thing. Uh, only larger for this and it's also a little bit longer I also made it a, it's a little bit wider too so I'll show that in my in another video I'll, I'll show you the actual reflector that I made for my HDBI TP link and uh, the only reason why I added a second antenna to the mix was so I could mix and match antennas 
maybe one omni, one directional, one with a reflector, one without a reflector on it. Um, it doesn't really add any extra range though, as a single antenna. It, it'll just allows you to capture a little bit more signal, giving you slightly better stability. And of course, that all important ability to uh, mix and match antennas. But when I fly out with the two, I'll usually have one down and one sideways. Is the way I usually do it, and every now and then I might do straight up like that, but usually I'll do it like this, works fine. Okay, anyway, that's about it. Uh, please like and subscribe.